Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to change a MariaDB data directory to a new location on CentOS. Uh, let's uh, connect to the Linux box uh, and take a look uh, where we have installed MariaDB. Now I'm going to use uh, Putty and uh, connect the Linux box where we have a uh, MariaDB. Let me change the fonts a little bit so we can see what's going on. Okay, right here and we connected. All right, I'm going to make the screen a little bigger. So whatever we type, we can see. Uh, let's provide the username, password, and now we are connected. First of all, let's take a look if the service is running. So we can use a system, CTL, status, and the MariaDB service name is MySQL. And we can see that it is active and running. Now let's connect to the um, MariaDB uh, so we can uh, write uh, our select queries uh, and take a look. Uh, I have already written the complete instructions here on techbrotherstutorials.com. Uh, so if you go to the Tech Brothers, go to databases and go to MariaDB, in the very first chapter uh, we have this topic, uh, how to move data directory right here. And uh, we can uh, use uh, this instruction. So you select at the red at the red data directory that will give us the current directory of MariaDB. And also we can check from the configuration file, but let's uh, 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 check from the MariaDB itself first. I'm going to connect uh, MariaDB with my username and password. Now let's paste that uh, or we can type uh, select the rate, rate data DIR and it will uh, tell us. Uh, so, so you see, see that, that uh, this, this is the, the current, current location uh, for data directory, directory of, uh, for MariaDB service. service. So all, all the databases, databases are created uh, here. Let's uh, uh, show uh, databases just to see how many databases are there. So three databases, I'm gonna exit, and then I will go to the CD, and uh, var, and lib, and uh, that's where uh, we call it MySQL. And now you can take a look right here. So you see that we have information schema. So we have uh, information schema. Uh, where did it, uh, okay, so you don't really see that the database is a system database. Okay, you have MySQL right there and you have performance schema. Okay, great. And uh, now uh, what we are gonna do, we are gonna go ahead and uh, follow the step-by-step -step, uh, to change the data directory. And uh, let me uh, open this uh, uh, article. First of all, what we will do, we will stop uh, the MariaDB services uh, so we can uh, use either of these uh, command. Uh, so let's uh, go there and I'm gonna go ahead and say sudo service uh, mysql stop. So what it will do, it will stop the MariaDB service uh, as we are going to make uh, changes in the configuration and all that. I would like to move uh, the data for databases or uh, directories uh, to one of the new location uh, right uh, here. So I have Cassandra one and uh, that's a 20 GB uh, drive I have available. I, I would like to move uh, uh, all the data uh, what's existing right now uh, in the MySQL MariaDB and also uh, any uh, new uh, databases uh, they should be created uh, on uh, this uh, Cassandra one. Okay, great. Now what we can do, we can create another folder under uh, Cassandra one and uh, let's uh, create a folder right there. Uh, sorry. One, and I'm gonna go ahead and say mkdir mysql and uh, that's it. So now we have uh, mysql uh, right here. This is, we, this is one of the folder we have created. So we'd like to put all the data under Cassandra backslash mysql. Okay, next step, services stopped. And now we, we have to uh, move the files from existing location to the new file. We can use the CP with the uh, these uh, parameters with the minus R and minus P to copy all those files uh, to the new location. Uh, so I already have written, uh, so I'm what I'm saying, uh, move, uh, sorry, copy all the files from var, lib, mysql, uh, everything, uh, asterisk mean everything uh, to the new location. So it is a Cassandra one and mysql. So let's move that. In your case, uh, you will be providing uh, your location uh, here because uh, you will have a different location uh, than mine. Uh, I, I have this folder. So let's go ahead and check that what we have here. So we ha we're having a MySQL, CD MySQL, um, MySQL, and we can see now 
it should have the files so you can see it has all those files now that's good next part uh, what we are going to do we are going to we are at the root now and uh, let's see what we have so we have to make the change in the configuration so the configuration is uh, uh, under um, I, I will write it here I just kind of missed that part like where exactly it is it is under etc and then the name of the file is my.config so I'm gonna copy this one so you see that I'm saying a data directory move to the this one and then I'm saying socket Cassandra one mysql and providing the socket so uh, path for that and then I'm saying client and port uh, that's the port uh, MariaDB is using and uh, the socket again same okay now I will copy this one and I will provide the path uh, or the name I will edit this article where exactly this file is so you go to the etc so we go to the etc and then uh, once we are there we will be uh, there is a file called uh, if you say ls uh, my asterisk dot asterisk so you see right here that's the file we have to make your changes okay we will say vi if uh, your root I, I will go ahead and say sudo or uh, sometimes you don't have those permission and it's a good idea to use the root um, uh, sudo super user to make changes to the this file sudo vi uh, my dot cnf okay now this file will open uh, there would be more comments I have deleted those, those comments uh, because I was uh, making some uh, um, kind of practice video before and uh, this is this is one of the line was uh, there so leave that one as it is so you press escape uh, and then uh, you press the I and after that uh, you can uh, move uh, the cursor up and down with the up and the down key, um, arrow keys and then uh, just uh, uh, um, right click on your mouse so okay so the, let me uh, let's delete this one okay so I'm gonna go ahead and delete and I'm gonna copy over uh, again uh, from our Sometimes what happen if you copy from the website? Uh, I, I I recommend putting that into the uh, notepad. So any formatting or any issues uh, uh, will not be there. So um, I put in the notepad now and copy to this again. And now we will go to the Cassandra and we will right click here. So it right click just fine uh, and pasted it. So we have uh, all the information what we need. We exit now. So we hit escape and then we press the colon. So you see that cursor comes at the corner right here in the left and then you're going to type w q and explanation mark and once that's done it will be saved so if you want to see if the file is saved you always say cat my.config it will show you the contents okay great it looks fine now the next step is um i i had some issues so when i start the service uh, it was giving me some problem because uh, I did not provide the permission to MySQL service uh, to this uh, my config. Even uh, um, it should be there, but I, I don't know why, what was went wrong. It it it, it was uh, uh, creating some problem for me. And also provide the permission on the folder uh, you had the new location you have. Okay, but we will go ahead and start the service. Uh, let's see if uh, there is any good luck uh, with us and uh, uh, that work. Sudo service MySQL and start. Uh, okay so that's the, exactly it was going it took some time and uh, came back with error so you see that this was the error i was getting so i have uh, uh, pasted the error right here so you can see uh, how exactly this error comes up now the only thing i did i only provided the permissions uh, to um to my sql um uh, on this uh, configuration file and uh, on the new folder so if I right click here okay permission is provided if you want to see you say ls minus la and you see the right there, 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 there are a lot of them so well uh, let's move to the next one but you can see if you would like to see uh, you can always uh, scroll through uh, and uh, see it also you can use a filter uh, if we have a my okay so okay i'm not gonna waste our time here let me let me see ls minus la and my dot uh, asterisk dot asterisk if that work okay great that that worked so you can see that uh it uh, should uh, 
okay so you have to right here see so it has a permission now um, it is pretty much owning this one uh, my dot config so let's uh, provide the same type of permission uh, to the other new location uh, if you would like to take a look first uh, what exactly permission it has so let's say we go to the CD Cassandra and uh, go to the okay let's go to Cassandra and we say ls minus la and we see that uh, we have mysql and root is owning this right now and uh, i'm gonna go ahead and change the permission uh, so if we type this one sorry i have to copy again or we can type uh, mysql mysql and then uh, you provide uh, uh, on which folder you would like to do so okay so it's done if we do ls minus la now we can see that uh, uh, this is uh, uh, has the mysql service has a kind of full permission on mysql folder so that's great now let's uh, restart the service again and uh, see what happened uh, service um, mysql and start okay service started just fine we can use system ctl m status uh, and mysql so that should uh, um, bring the service uh, information and we can see that service is running just fine now let's go to the mariadb and see if uh, we create the database where exactly the database is created uh, first of all uh, we will run the same query select at the data, data, data dir and see where exactly it is pointing so you can see that now it is pointing to the cassandra one mysql before that it was pointing to the war lib mysql okay now we create a database uh, so we say create database tech brothers and uh, we hit enter i am so bad with the typing nowadays okay create data base not uh, i messed up uh, the name okay now it uh, one database created i'm gonna go ahead and uh, create a table test uh, with the one uh, column integer and uh, okay uh, use the tech brothers fine and now create table test id integer okay now we are good and i can insert into test i just want to verify if everything is working and, and that's that's a good thing like you check all the way if read write everything works so we say select star from test and uh, sorry yeah test that's a table name so we have one row there if we exit from here and uh, we can go to the we are here in um, uh, pdw if we do that we are in cassandra one and uh, we say ls minus la so that will give us uh, the folders with permissions and now we can go to the cd mysql and inside that uh, should have you know, our tech but there's a database so the folder right here if we go to tech brothers uh, cd tech brothers and uh, now you can see a uh, co couple of files here that is always created when you create a table it created dot frm and dot ibd file and this is the default file it always created when you create a um, database now uh, thanks very much for watching this video and i hope this will help uh, i have instructions right here you can follow along and uh, you know if you f face any issue you can uh, write it in the comments or send us uh, you know email uh, and uh, i hope uh, this video will help uh, and uh, thanks for watching subscribe and like i will see you guys in the next video